presumption of innocence, even in a case that gets so uh, so graphic as this. Let me go back quickly to Corbin Gates. Was there one or two people involved in this? I've heard that you believe there might have been two, not just one. I can I can speculate, but the way from what I saw prior before the gunman walking in acted out, it seemed like there was two. But I couldn't speculate because I did not know what happened after that. Did door you uh, tell someone? Open. I think you told one of our producers that the person you saw going out of the theater to get and come back, whoever came back in, the one who went out, had a, had a goatee. Yeah. Had, had, go ahead. That's correct, yeah. Uh, prior to the movie even starting, when I came and got my seat at the theater, a guy walked in and to the auditorium after me, sat into the very front, first right row, and got a phone call, a second phone call towards the emergency exit, not the lobby, and had his, had his foot propped open by the door. It seemed like he was making gestures of uh, trying to find somebody or trying to have somebody come to his location to where he currently was. After that, I had already stepped out of the auditorium to bring my friend in, and when we came back, the movie was just starting, lights were dimming, and that door seemed closed. And you testified to all this in court? Yes. Okay, thank you very much, Corbin Day. So I'm glad you got through it, fella. And Dr. Mike